Happy bank holiday, so let's have a quick look of what is broadcasting today on the last bank holiday before the August one, which is quite a while. So we've just had a power cut, so it's reset the box. It was a strange sort of power cut, actually. It was actually not completely off, and some low-power devices were still working, but you couldn't put any TVs and computers on. So it was actually strange. So, um, But some um, some lights, um, some not, not the big lights, seemed to come on. So that was strange. But of course it reset everything. Um, so let's have a look. And it did a lot there. 2% free. Amazing that, that, that there ever is. <coughs> anyway. You can see that there is absolutely nothing broadcasting that is different for the bank holiday on BBC One. Money for nothing. Um, an escape to the country. Garden rescue. Clean it. Fix it. Pointless. Um, the only thing that's different is that scam interceptors, which is normally shown further into prime time, is at six o'clock, and it's just part of the regular series, as you can see, and the shorter news, and that's what happened at lunchtime as well, and with the morning programmes, it is absolutely no different whatsoever. Um, but it's slightly like a holiday, um, only only with this Radio One's big weekend, and um, and this Chelsea Flower Show thing is is to do with this sort of time. I, I don't know why the BBC do put on films on a Sunday afternoon, but they don't bother whatsoever um, for Holiday Monday. So, the so BBC Two is much the same. So, if you went back to the morning, you would have um, the Nicky Campbell show from Five Live and all that, and and, and uh, the usual stuff that's on. There's no sort of old film or anything like that, and um, and this is more or less exactly the same, really, as well. I think. And that is a very typical Monday night as well. The only thing that's different is when you get to um, 10 o'clock and set a news night, they have um, a big chunk of the late evening totally taken up. We're showing the classic gangster film, Goodfellas. So that, I think, is the sole BBC Two bank holiday variation there. ITV, as I've mentioned on the previous ones, are always sticking an afternoon film on now on ITV One. They spent most of the tens just playing the usual daytime shows. So obviously there's been a bit of a shake-up thanks to um, the, the controversy around Philip Schofield. But this morning carries on with different hosts. And I think that's um, Dem... Oh, I can't remember who they are exactly, but I can remember it was it was Dem O'Leary who we knew from presenting Big Brother, didn't he? Or um, Big, the Big Brother spin-off show when he got famous with that. He is now presenting this morning, whether that'll stick. Um, and Tenable's interesting if you're a fan of the classic soaps because um, guess who's presenting that? The one who, um, the actress of Shelley from the era of classic Corey that is showing at the moment as well is doing that instead of uh, Warwick Davis, um, who who is the one that Tenable started with, of course. So there you go. But it's all quite normal, uh, really. They've just shunted on those shows on a bit after the film. So with the chase now an hour later, roughly speaking, shorter news, usual soaps. Britain's Got Talent is stripped across the whole of this week. And something I have noticed is that um, is that when they led up to um, the Britain's Got Talent final around this time of the last bank holiday in May, which is called the Whip Bank Holiday, they used to um, put a lot of effort in with Coronation Street with a big storyline and so on. And it used to be shown at nine o'clock as well so that the content could be a bit stronger. Um, but now, instead of these hour blocks, they're showing it every evening this week from holiday monday onwards at half past seven and uh, when you look at the, um, the synopsis for the episodes it's not particularly different or um, or anything more dramatic to real viewers in it's just like business as normal although i think um and this is a giveaway a bit of spoilers I, i'm not following it so much at the moment because i really am bored with 2023 Corey, but um, I think it's maybe the culmination of the uh, of the acid throwing incident in court, um, and that might be about the most um, dramatic storyline that they do have uh, for this week. But no, the nine o'clock episodes they seem to have done away with them after the pandemic, particularly. So really, ITV isn't that exciting, but it is showing a film. Small foot here, probably enough to get um, a copyright strike. Twenty eighteen. So it's a fairly new family film. And then there's all football stuff later on as well. Like um, 
and that is probably only on because of the uh, the holiday of the M. It might be anyway. I'm not sure. Interesting. It's got Elton Wellesby presenting this. Who was always the Granada Sports presenter. So it's almost like um, a, a little return of, of Granada there, because Elton Wellesby is actually uh, presenting that there. That, that Channel Four. Yeah, not at all different. I don't think, and not even in the evening. Even it's um, except that the uh, news is now half an hour instead of seven to eight. So it, in place of that, you've got um, Kirsty and Phil's "Love It All" list it. So not very exciting. Uh, and then it's their usual Monday prime time stuff, which I must admit I don't find too exciting. Maybe the documentary about the uh, the porn star Ron Jeremy would be about the best. <laughs> So channel five, yeah. There's no difference in their choice of afternoon movie. It's usually some sort of TV movie, often shown on channels like uh, Lifetime in the states. So that is no effort, I'm afraid. Um, that's a new daytime show that just happens to be shot and starting today. And um, viewers are maybe a little bit confused. Some viewers are a little bit confused that there's eggheads on both channel five and BBC Two. Well, that's only because channel five have now now making new episodes of it. Um, but even those are repeats, and um, and then it's just a, a typical Monday evening tra traffic cops and police interceptors. In fact, it's uh, it looks like it's a completely emergency service based night by the looks of it. What from traffic cops through to police interceptors, police suspect number one. Imagine watching all this in a row, or how you'd actually feel mentally if you watched the entire evening back to back, and even sat through the adverts. Police. Police night shift 999, 999 critical condition, and then police interceptors again at midnight. So that's that's Channel 5's way of marking a holiday Monday evening then, isn't it? And they, and they often have uh, interesting documentaries. Tomorrow night, actually, is something that I'd point out as more of a highlight than that, so I might as well include it in this video, and that is that um, there's a documentary about the blackouts of 74 and I've experienced it personally last night where it, it was it was more like a brownout actually I think they might even describe it as where it where it was a low form of power but but wouldn't turn on the devices you really wanted so um, there was a lot of rolling power cuts during the, um, the, the the strikes of 74 and that wasn't there there was two elections in that year so I actually think that would have been a bit more special if they'd put that on tonight instead of that block of uh, um, public emergency services and police programs all night so let's see Sky actually do make an effort actually and they've changed their schedule since I last looked at it um, they did have a bank holiday schedule but because um, Tina Turner's just died um, they've changed whatever it was going to be at three o'clock to that I think it was just something about football that was going to be on and then they've actually got films in place of the Simpsons and um, I guess there's you know, I mean gold's kind of the same I've, it's just Vicar of Dibley related stuff all day, including their documentary about it, but it's but that is a changed schedule for the bank holiday. And there's a few smaller examples of this around as well. ITV2 also change all their uh, schedules to, to show a lot more films. So you can see that uh, this film was actually on ITV1 a few holidays back. Um, this Goosebumps film from um, 2015. And there's Yogi Bear. ITV3 are uh, not very different today, actually, that, and, um, but it's good if you like the classic soaps. So they they often show a block of carry on films that's not there at all, and um, ITV4 have got a few different films on I think compared to what they would normally have on as well. So Battle of Britain, um, 633 Squadron. So that's something that uh, very often happens with ITV4 showing a lot of war films, sometimes westerns. Because after all, it's meant to be a sort of blokey channel, isn't it? So comparing it to uh, tomorrow. You can see that they're just stand, more standard programs tomorrow and that Holiday Monday has been changed for a block of films. So there you go. That's just a quick review, really, of the um, the Bank Holiday TV before I actually have to go at 3 o'clock. So there we go.